had a lot to cover today. I hope you had a chance to download this week's soul coaching and uh, universal energy report for each day this week. We continue to work with the universe and harmony with the universe. We continue to experience that increase in energy. We're feeling that vibration. It may feel um, stressful at times, but it's actually very purposeful, very good. And this week it's very specific on expanding not just your abundance, but your, your prosperity in all ways. So we're going to talk about that this week and cleaning up that energetic flow around your money flow. Oh, and look at that. Um, how many of you got a chance to download it and read it? Um, or hear it, because you can also download the audio, you can listen to the audio right there in the membership report. Let me know if that's something that you got a chance to dive into. If you haven't, that's okay. By letting me know, it lets me know how much to dive into today, because this is to expand on what the soul coaching is that I provide for you for the week ahead. Um, and if I need to cover a little bit more about what I have in there, I'll do that. All right, so let's dive right in, shall we? Let's dive right in. Let me get my notes out. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more than I originally intended for today. Um, that seems to be happening a lot lately. And that's because I think it is important. Um, I know that we are all, we all cannot be dedicated to doing master classes every week, being here for two and three or four hours. So it's, it's really important that the soul coaching sessions, not only just expand on the soul coaching for the week, that is, you know, supplements what the energy forecast is for the week. Um, but it, it's, it's a way to sort of Mm, recharge your energy, reconnect to the spiritual laws that are always in play. And last night, as I was going through my notes, it occurred to me that, that is, there's a specific law that really um, is being nudged in all of us to take part in, to take a look at. So I wanna, I'm going to cover that um, in just a minute. So this week, we talked about prosperous expansion and how important prosperity is, abundance is, that your money flow is as important as having air to breathe, as it is having a new day, having land, having home. It is that important. So we can't really look at money in a way like it's not essential. You know, we, when we're saying things like, you know, uh, money is the root of all evil or money isn't that important. Or if you're, too, if you're too focused on money, you're off center. Now let's kind of relook at some of the energy around money. Hey, Cheryl, I just saw you popped in. And Jamie too, good morning, good morning. Um, thank you, Tree, the reports are excellent. I'm so glad you're enjoying them. So when we're looking at it that way, we seem to have sort of a waffly energy around money. So I want to get very clear on how we can clear up this energy so that we can really um, hmm, pay attention to how we're managing our, our prosperous flow, uh, because that'll be unique to everyone, depending on your values and the quality of life you choose to live. That's, that's beautiful and perfectly unique. So um, in this week's co soul coaching, I gave you the example that, you know, in the old days, maybe we would have thought about this differently because in the old days, especially if we look at feng shui and we look at how, you know, home um, and on all of our areas of life, you know, we didn't cut down a tree without having a full purpose for a tree, not just to build the home, but to build the fire for the cooking. You know, we looked at everything. We were maybe more hunter gatherers back then. So that money energy was very, very different. Nowadays, it is very likely that money is what's paying for your shelter. It's what's paying for your survival. It's what's paying for your food. Even if you're growing food, there is some money that's going to pay for what requires you to live healthy, well, right? Not even, not even just abundantly, just to keep yourself going because that's what you need. So when we look at it that way, money does speak to your very survival, to your instincts in the same way that oxygen is, you know? If somebody were to stop your oxygen flow, you would be very concerned. <laughs> I would be right? You need oxygen. Um, so money speaks to that survival instinct. So when we talk about money, and you think about it in that way, you tend to have this lower vibration that maybe causes you to think, mm, I might not have enough money. Or you start thinking about outside 
of yourself, whether it's your employers or even the government or whatever else, and how it influences your money. And all of a sudden, your money energy, even though your heart and mind know that there is infinite abundance when it comes to money, at some point that energy level just starts to drop a little bit. Give me a big yes if you felt that as I was talking about it. <laughs> Cheryl said, love this week's notes. All, too many notes already. Give me a big yes if you felt sort of that drop a little bit, right? When we think about that money. And this could be, by the way, not just a reflection. It's, it's a reflection in, in everybody. Everybody's money energy is different. So like it, one easy way to explain it as a, like from a business perspective, you can start off a business and you can have, you know, um, a business that provides maybe a side hustle of 500 to $1,000 a month or, you know, an extra $300 a month. And so that's, that's really good if it's a side hustle, right? So that's one level of money energy. And when you're trying to break through to a $5,000 a month or a $10,000 a month, or if you have a whole business that started out making, you know, 50,000 the first year and you want to break through the 100,000 or into the millions, everybody's going to be at a different level. We're always growing and outgrowing. So being aware of that money energy, no matter where you are in your life, it's going to be true for everyone, right? There is a level of energy that, that is going to be required for you to push through to that next level. Yeah, said Cheryl. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. All right. So whew, I'm going to bring this up. So <clears throat> when we think of money this way, and we understand that everything is energy and energy is everything, how can we clean up that money energy? Well, I gave you tips this week on how to clean up that money energy because everything about 2020, everything, expect the unexpected, <laughs> including my water heater <laughs> breaking at the last minute and leaking all over the place. Um, you know, all of these things, expect the unexpected are, are set up to push you to this next level. And today's another day uh, where the universal energy, the, the date reduces to 11. It's pushing you through to the next level. And we're always doing this in small processes, different different ways, different approaches, different energies, different everything. It's always a constant process of growing and outgrowing. So we want to talk about this money energy and, and really practical ways to clean that up. And the one that I gave you today... Oh.